you for being here. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy you're both here. And Sean, let's you are officially retired. I'm retired. Age 35. 35. How does yeah. it feel? How are you feeling right now? Is there, we were yeah. talking before the show, is there anyone you look to mm. for retirement inspiration? You know, when I was thinking of retirement, I, I kept thinking of, of actually Obama when he left office. Right. All the photos are just him on a jet ski <laughs> and a straw yeah. hat. And I was You're like, right. God, I want to... I want to be doing that. Yeah. I'd be like chugging a Celsius, driving on my, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, that's, that's where I'm heading. That's what you want to be doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what would retirement look like for Whitney Cummings? Do you ever think about it? Well, um, every time I come on the show, I feel like I come close to getting canceled. So no. I feel like if anyone were watching any appearances of me on James Corden, I no. might be forced to retire. Or if you, I, I'm just waiting for, see, you get to choose when you retire. Comedians, mm -hmm. you just wait for that old tweet to resurface. Right. <laughs> I don't think you can call that retirement, though. Yeah. Yeah. You can't call that no, yeah, retirement. Yeah, you can't be canceled. Yeah. I call it just forced retirement, yeah. um, which a lot of us are having to do right now. <laughs> but here's the thing. When I signed up to be, like, an actress in the yeah. public eye, you know, 20 years ago, actresses were sent out to pasture at, like, 30. Right. Mm. I'm yes. 39, and yes. because we we fought for equality and we fought mm. for, like, body positivity, now, at 39, I still have to work. With high def cameras, and <laughs> I was hoping harder. I would be retired by now, and I'm not because you guys want to see older women on screen, which is a little bit bittersweet. Because yeah. uh, I'm tired. I thought I would be retired by now. I mean, Sean, you basically revolutionized the sport of snowboarding. Like, I think you made it. Thank you. you made us interested in seeing it, watching it. Gotcha. We became we became invested in it. Yeah. What was the moment? When did you decide? Do you know what? Yeah. This is it. I'm going to stop. I'm done. Oof. I, I think I, I remember waking up one morning and I was just like, my back. Right. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> called me and they're like, what happened? I'm like, nothing. I woke up. <laughs> right. Know? And then and it was these like little injuries. You know what I mean? You just like, it's just no, that I was age looking at catches your phone up. phone shaped like this. I was like, is your oh, phone, yeah, my phone shaped like that? Because <laughs> it's a snowboard. I looked at it. <laughs> I was like, oh, let me Even call my friend. Uh, Even his phone. Even his phone is all just have radical, <laughs> dude. We have him. Uh, yeah. No, and then I went to Austria to train, and uh, the next thing I know, my knee was feeling funny, and then I injured my ankle. So it's the back, the knee, the ankle. And I was like, OK, I'm out of here. And so I took this ride down, and I completely got lost. Wait, so, so no one told you about painkillers? I can help you. <laughs> <laughs> we get tested for everything yeah. under the sun. So oh, you, we got to really, like, get in there and What do you mean you got take lost? the pain. Well, I'm going down. I was, like, leaving the mountain. I've only been there a couple times. And so I'm trying to get down to the parking area. I got lost. And in Europe, if you get lost, you can end up, like, in Italy. You know what I mean? The yeah. mountains, like, if you go down the back, you're in Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never somewhere. thought of that. Of course. And you're so in Austria. I'm like, I don't have the right currency. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, OK. And so I get the, the, the gondola back up. I'm sitting there, and I was just like, it's time. You know, these were the signs that told me. And I was, remember looking out, going, wow, this is the last time, like, I'll be at this resort and be, like, stressed about learning tricks or something like that. And the thought had occurred to me that, like, I've been to these resorts all around the world, and I've only been to the run that takes me to the half pipe. You know right. what I mean? I, like, there's a whole mountain there. So I'm excited to go back and check it all that's out. It's life, man. Yeah, man. We all got to. <laughs> that's yeah. it, bro. Yeah. Now, Whitney, we got to talk about your brilliant new movie, Studio 666. It's a brilliant concept. Thank for anyone who doesn't know, Thank you. tell us what it's about and who you play. So, I don't know if you've heard of a band called the Foo Fighters. Aware of them. But they made a movie. Mm. Uh, it is a horror movie mm. that is sort of like a, you know, paying homage to all of the horror movies that we grew up on, like big, like like thrasher movies. Mm. And um, uh, the last band, correct me if I'm wrong, that did a movie like this, was it Spice Girls for Spice World? Um, I guess like a narrative film, Like yes. it's like a movie about yes. a band. I, like, yeah. I was thinking about this. I was like, when is the last time a huge band put out like a feature film? Mm. And so um, I, um, I don't know why they cast me for this, but I play like a crazy Encino lady that's like slept with every musician in the 90s. Um, so I had to act. Hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was like a big departure. It's like Meryl Streep <laughs> playing <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. And so I do have a, a sexual scene in it. 
Mm. And it's in a horror movie, so it's, it's, that's where I perish, and you'll see why. You'll love it. At the premiere, everyone was really psyched when I died. I was like, this is a bit like a bittersweet reaction. Mm. Um, and, uh, and so I'm doing a scene. Sex scenes are always, I know you hear actors talk about them all the time, but they're never sexy. No. No, never sexy, right? Mm. And you kind of have someone on top of you, and, 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 and the scenes are very quick, and then you have, like, 20 minutes of just someone on top of you, Being and you're like, like so What did you have for lunch? So, yeah, 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 yeah. like, the guy with the boom mic, like, mm. yeah. This is, yeah. Great. This is yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, hey guys, just finished lunch. When have you done a <laughs> sex scene? <laughs> I, I was in a music video in, uh, for the Black Keys, uh, uh, Howlin' for You is Yes, a song. I love that song. I get killed in the first scene during a sex scene. Right. And I remember thinking, like, wow, this is so awkward. Yeah. And that boom guy was like, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Still haunts me, you know? He's like right there. So I've done some acting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot to say. <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, but uh, so we're doing this sex scene, and it's the keyboardist of the Foo Fighters. Yes. No one's cooler than musicians. Actors, comedians, we're dorks. Mm. Like, and then when we get around musicians, we get like all nervous and weird, you know? Correct. So I'm nervous because this is someone he he played in the Wallflowers. He's playing for the yeah. Foo Fighters, one of the biggest bands ever. And yeah. you're like, okay, like I gotta just stay cool. I found some like random wine in the house we were staying in. It was. Uh, I stand by this choice, and. Uh, so we go in, and when you're blocking out a sex scene now, because of there's so many you know, rules in Hollywood now, you can't just randomly like harass anyone whenever you want. Yeah. So there's all these rules now. And so they hadn't blocked out the sex scene. So we both sort of like, you know, get by the bed, and they're like, okay, so how do you guys, how do you guys want to do this? We're sitting there like this, and yeah. we both lay down flat on our backs <laughs> at the same time. Right. <laughs> like I'm not being like yeah. both of us are like absolutely not. So I went out of being on the bottom, mm. and. Uh, and then I literally was like, I had a broken shoulder. Like, yeah, I can't yeah, be on I'm like yeah, playing like any yeah. part I can. So we're shooting the scene in between. Rami is like having to take breaks from like, and I'm like, why is this so difficult for you? And he just snapped and was like, I'm a rock star. I haven't had to be on top in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> the film oh, is wow. absolutely brilliant.